Hey everyone, welcome to uh, this uh, shortwave radio channel. Somebody was asking me um, how to tune single sideband signals on the uh, Ethon Elite 750. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a demonstration here and also kind of go by the rules of when to use upper sideband, lower sideband. Of course this radio does both, but it's still a radio that uses a BFO. So the first rule I would say is look at your BFO knob. It has a little notch and that notch should be straight up. Okay? You have to be in the middle. In a BFO, when your radio has a beat frequency oscillator, you have to be in the middle. The middle is the place to be. And the reason is simple is that that middle point is where technically you're close to zero beat when you actually find a signal on a frequency. So don't put it at any extremes, keep it always in the middle. It's extremely important. It's gonna really make your life easier when tuning single sideband. Then let's uh, let's let's tune around and see if we can find something on the utility. So rule of thumb, pretty much everything that is a utility signal will be upper sideband. Almost Everything that you hear that is outside the amateur band is upper sideband. In the amateur bands, it's split half and half. Amateur bands above 10 megahertz are upper sideband. Below 10 megahertz are lower sideband. There's an exception to the rule with the 60 meter band, 5 megahertz. There's also an exception to the rule when you're actually tuning digital signals. But for the rest, that is pretty much the rule. 99% of everything outside the ham bands is in upper sideband. There is exception to the rules, especially with the uh, the fishermen, the peskies as we call them, which are often two-way communications coming out of, uh, you know, from, from fishermen and all sorts of, you know, people using two-way radios as they please. So uh, let's, for example, go to uh, the... Um, 20 meter band. Let's see if there's something on the 20 meter band right now. So I'm going to start at 14100, which is where it all starts. Play a little bit with the RF gain. Video coming up, by the way, on the RF gain and attenuators use also on this radio because I've got a lot of questions of people wanting to know a little more. So I'm going to be in upper sideband. Upper sideband. Because it's above 20 it's above 10 megahertz amateur bands above 10 megahertz are upper sideband my bfo is pretty much centered very important and let's see if we hear anything here Okay, not much happening there on a 20 meter band. Maybe not surprising tonight. Uh, let's go to the 40 meter band. Now, 40 meter band, below 10 megahertz, rule, lower side band. Once again, you keep your BFO notch at the center. Make sure, let's go to the 40 meter band. Let's uh, start at 7200 so that we don't have the uh, different international broadcasts in the way. I'm going to lower the RF gain a little bit here. Pretty high, so let's go. Let's go down. Put it a little higher here. So we have something on 7170. To make it clear, we play with a BFO. Slowly. So 
Tango India 5 station from Costa Rica making contacts. You notice I, I went to the right slightly. Go very slowly with a BFO. It's extremely important to go very slowly to zero in on the voice as much as possible. Notice how these voices are very close to their natural voices. That's why keeping this centered helps a lot because most of the stations are on zero frequency. What I mean by that is 715800. There are people that are in the middle or in a different, you know, they'll be at 7158.25 or whatever, but most are in the um, the zero beat if you want on each kilohertz so it helps tremendously to keep this BFO centered for that reason notice how easy and how close I am already to most of the transmissions there's another one here let's check it out 57 50 that helps and just listen with your ears also listen to what sounds the closest to the natural voice if you sound like this you are too far away to zero beat you really need to zero in with a lower tone so even if i was say like this Notice how the tone is lower than here. Zero in the tone. Let's try, for example, some uh, upper sideband. Let's go to utilities. Now, I'll mess it up a little bit. I'll uh, just detune it a little. We're gonna go on six seven five zero. Propagation is right. Should be hearing uh, maybe Trenton Military. I don't know if it's gonna be there tonight. Seven four. So I'm not hearing it at this time. Let's try another one. Let's try the uh, local weather stations here on the Maritime, the Marine bands. Sorry. Try to tune anything that uh, here we got here we got one two five nine eight you see it's a little high pitch go very slowly but if you aren't successful, tune one kilohertz up or down. It can help you. Maybe you're just too far away from the center frequency. But like I said, if you maintain this button, and on every radio it's the same rule. If you have a Texan PL660, 680, try to have the BFO as centered as much as possible. On this radio, it's easy because you see it. You see a little notch. You see you know, the general control. On some radios, you have no idea. So just go up and down until you get to the end and try to kind of find what seems to you to be really the middle spot in between the upper and the lower range of the BFO button. And once again, remember, utility signals, the majority of them, upper sideband and in the hand bands it'll be half and half up 
upper sideband above 10, lower sideband above 10, uh, below 10, with the exceptions of you know utility signals and digital signals that are all in upper sideband in general. Just try to learn the rules. Um, you know, it's a learning curve, but slowly you'll be able to actually tune around. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.